This video will discuss how to search and filter results using ICV VUE for perk runs. This can be quite useful if many errors are flagged and you only care about certain errors for your debug session. Using this search field, wildcards and regular expressions can be used to filter and search through your results. This feature is available in ICV View versions 2022.12 and on. The search field can be found in the ICV perk results tab. Expressions or text can be typed into the search box, and the fields that will be selected can be selected by the following button. Note we can either search in the cell area, violation or rule, error or object, error details, or descriptions, or we can search all of the fields at the same time. It should be noted that when search all is selected, if an AND type regular expression is in the search field, it won't search across cell and violation or rule, for example. Search all merely means we're going to be searching all of the boxes at once. Other options which are of use are the option to search by plain text, wildcard, or regular expression. We'll get into examples of each of these later in the video. Also, case sensitivity can be toggled by the button which is being clicked right now. Notice that the button changes colors when clicked to indicate whether case sensitivity is being turned on or off. First off, Let's search for cells in this design. The one cell we do have is named ICV underscore perk underscore example. So if we try searching for something which does not have a string that is contained in that, nothing is returned. However, let's search for underscore perk, for example. The cell is found because it has the name underscore perk. If we use wildcard, for example, we can even expand this. ICV EX for ICV example does not find anything, but ICV wildcard EX returns ICV perk example because this fulfills the requirements. Also, let's try with case sensitivity. ICV is found using case sensitivity, but if we turn case sensitivity on, note that we're either finding or not finding the cell. Also, we can search by violation or rule. The violations or rules in this case are ESDCD, ESDP2P2, and ESDP2P1. Using the wildcards, let's find only cases of ESDCD. Note that the ESDP2Ps are no longer returned. If we did wish to only return P2Ps, we could do something like the sort or ESDP to P2. We could search for it and further narrow down our results. Note that wildcards are not needed at the front and the back of the string, but they're useful in the middle of the strings, as shown with this example. Another example is searching error or object fields. Error objects are the rule names which are indicated in the violation browser. In this case, let's find IO and VDD names Note that the IO VSS no longer exist when we type in VDD. If we wish to do IO1 to VDD, we can even further narrow this down. Next, let's try searching our error details using a regular expression. In this case, we want to find all paths which have a resistance value greater than 0.5 ohms. To do so, we can use a regular expression This regular expression will find everything with a value of 0 through 9 before the decimal and 5 through 9 after the decimal, indicating greater than 0.5 ohms. Note that in these examples, all the resistance values are greater than 0.5. If we change this to 0.6, note 
notice that the only values returned are above the 0.5 that we saw previously. We can also use AND expressions in our regular expression. For example, if we wish to find all the cases where the resistance value is above 0.5 and also associated with a clamp tag, we can do that as well. The returned has a value greater than 0.5 ohms and is associated with the tag big fat clamp. Furthermore, we can do this when searching descriptions as well. In this case, let's find paths that have descriptions which match certain characteristics. For example, All of these match the I.O. characteristic in the description. Note the string I.O. If we wish to further narrow this down and say we want to search for I.O. and power and ground, we can do the following. This is now searching for I.O. and ground. But let's say we wanted to search for I.O. and either ground or power. We can use an OR operand in our regular expressions. Now everything we're searching has either I.O. and power or I.O. and ground. Also, just for one further example, let's say we wanted to only look for cases where we're looking for up, the string associated with our up protection. We could do this here and not just search for I.O. All these errors now have the string up, for example. Another example where it can be useful to filter errors is with cross-domain errors. In this case, it can be useful to know that we have domain errors between VDD1 and VDD2 for two of our errors, and VDD3 and VDD1 for the last error. If we wish to only find certain domains, we can use regular expressions and search our description field to find cases where errors exist between certain nets. For example, if we wish to find all the errors between VDD2 and VDD3, we don't have any. But if we choose to find the ones between VDD1 and VDD3, however, note that we have one such error. We search for VDD2 and VDD1, we have two such errors. So this can be useful to filter out certain errors if you're only looking between certain domains to find the errors for that case. For further information, please contact your ICV PERC representative. Thank you.